there! You must be wondering, what's going on here? Who is this beautiful, gorgeous, one-of-a-kind, absolutely stunning woman? Where's chapter one? Well, I don't even know what a chapter one is. This has nothing to do with that. Anyway, since you guys are so impatient for more episodes, here's a cute little interlude episode for you. Starring my favorite person ever, me! I'm Momoka Ayase, but you can call me Momo, sweetheart. Or, for the right price, anything you want. I'm the third, and arguably the best, lieutenant of the Himura clan. My area of expertise is all things related to entertainment. Isn't this drawing cute? I made it myself. I made one for each of my besties. And the next one is... Oh, ew, not this ugly old fart. This is the first and most boring lieutenant of the family, Hirotaka Eguji. He's a big, burly, and smelly guy, but he wouldn't even hurt a fly if he could help it. He cooks for me, does my laundry, and makes sure that I'm always safe. But trust me, he's lame! Hirotaka's so easy to bully, and that's why I make it my job to annoy him every day! Now we have KK, also known as Keisuke Fujinuma, a total workaholic and a loner. She hates anyone and everyone, except for me, because everybody loves me. KK is always busy working to have any other personality trait, but whatever, she's still my bestie for life. And since I know some of you won't catch on, Keisuke uses all pronouns. He, she, they, anything's fine. Lastly, let's introduce the big boss. The chairman of the Himura clan! This is... Wait, no, this is the wrong drawing. This is Ryusei, so technically I'm right, because he was the former chairman, but, uh, anyway... Where did I put my drawing of Ryuji? Ah, uh, wrong again. This is Yuyu, and she's my best, best, bestie forever! We're practically sisters due to how close we were! But uh, that's besides the point, uh... Oh man, did I really forget to draw Ryuji? Sorry for the wait! Here we have the chairman of the Himura clan, Ryuji Himura! It's kind of weird when your boss is way younger and more inexperienced than you, but he's sweet. And, uh, what else? Uh, doesn't matter. Moving on! Today's my day off, and you know what's the best thing to do on your day off? Sleep in, eat a lot, and annoy your friends till they're forced to hang out with you! Of course, if you don't have any friends, then it sucks to be you, but this is about me! <sighs> I've already slept till late in the afternoon, and now I'm getting bored. So it's time to head to the Himura clan headquarters and find somebody to bother! Follow me! Actually...
Hi! Momoka, why are you here? Hey! Why is it always me? You're so silly. What? Who cares? cares Let's go Seriously? No, no. Get to the point. All right. No. No. Seriously? Do you not see this huge pile of documents on my desk? I need to get them done by the end of the day. Oh, you mean this pile of paper? Momoka! Now you don't need to work on them! Aren't I just the best? I am so, so sorry for her behavior. You know how she is. Did I hear something? I'll pick them all up for you. Don't worry. Now you have no excuse not to join us! Since you are intruding upon my work hours, I suppose I'll be reimbursed for all the time that I've lost. Should I take that out of your paychecks? Psst! Who let KK in charge of finances again? Not interested. Stop it! 
it. Why should I care? What? Super fun! Back then... Seriously? If you ask me... Fine by me. That's right! Why is it always me? What's up? I see. <clears throat> You're so silly. Moving on. I'm not sure what is going on, but I heard something about hanging out on my way here. Momoka Keisuke and I are going to eat sushi for dinner later. I see. Would you like to join us? Psst! Hey! You can't invite people without consulting me first! That's the chairman! Exactly! Who invites their boss to chill and hang out with them? Use your head, old man! Well, I feel like the chairman would appreciate it a lot if he joined us. You know he struggles to make friends. Um, is something the matter? Why are you whispering amongst yourselves? 
nothing, Chairman. Actually, we'd already planned for it to be just three people, so it's a bit hard to include another person, and... Uh, all right, then. On second thought, it turns out we do have room for one more. Why are you so indecisive? Really? That would be fantastic. being too loud. Fujinuma, you will be joining us, right? He's coming along. <laughs> uh, you can blame Hirotaka for that. <laughs> you invited him too. Never mind. Chairman, you have a meeting scheduled with the representative of the Hosen clan at 5 p.m. sharp. I hope you haven't forgotten about that. Uh, right. It seems I am busy today after all. Hmm. I wonder if it is possible to reschedule that meeting for another day. <sighs> you should be doing your job properly without me needing to remind you. Rescheduling an important meeting to make time for trivial affairs? <sighs> Don't be ridiculous. You're representing the entire Himura clan. Your behavior reflects on all of us. I... I apologize. Uh, it's a shame you're busy. But we could always go to that cafe you mentioned earlier some other time. Yes, yes. Uh, another time, I suppose. Maybe then, Denshi and Akira could join us as well. Oh, that would be lovely. Well, I shall wait patiently for that time to come. I will return to my office now. Enjoy your meal. Bye, Chairman! Chairman's emotions is not part of my job description, and don't flick my forehead. Don't tell me what to do! Besides, did you really want him to skip an important meeting over dinner? You know it wasn't that important! Our family has close relations with that clan anyway, and they wouldn't mind rescheduling! You just told him that because you hate him! Come on, let's not argue. I never said that I hate him. I simply want him to live up to the title of the Chairman. If he can't even accomplish his role properly, how is the Humora clan supposed to carry on? I am simply doing my job as his lieutenant. You could have been nicer. Our relationship is purely professional. I have no obligation to uphold a performative friendship. Since when have you been so strict about rules and professionalism? You never acted this way when Ryusei was around. Ahem. <clears throat> We're going to have a nice dinner later. Let's not sour the mood. Let's 
go. What did I get myself into? <laughs> hey! Why is it always me? If you ask me. Now. Hold on. Fine by me. Hold on. <laughs> oh, this is the best. It reminds me of the times when Ryusei would treat us to big fancy dinners. He had a bad habit of spending too much. Uh-huh. And the only time he'd stop was when Yuki would scold him. I remember when Ryusei took us to this gigantic omakase. It was the day that Keisuke was promoted to a lieutenant and we had a dinner party to celebrate. I remember that day too. That was what, six or seven years ago, I think? Everyone was so lively back then. You'd always have this expressionless look on your face even then, Keisuke. But when Ryusei congratulated you, I think I saw you smile for the very first time. <laughs> You're right. It's rare to see you look so happy, so we always cherish those moments. <laughs> what? That's enough. Enough. Back then. Seriously? those times how many years has it been five six and 
the fact that it all happened just a week before their wedding day. All I wanted was to see Yuki in a pretty wedding dress, watch the ceremony, and eat and drink and mess around at the after party. Just doing dumb stuff and having fun with everyone like we always do. But the news came so suddenly that day, and I... I'm sure they're happy together somewhere, and that they wouldn't want us to be upset. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm fine, really. It's just that I can't help but miss them sometimes. They were so young. If they were with us today, they would have only been 30 years old. I'm barely 31 now, but I still feel like I haven't lived half my life yet. I can't help but imagine how different things would be if they were still here. There's no point in thinking about what-ifs or reminiscing about the past. The more you think about the past, the more it'll hurt. The more you think about what you could have done to change things, the more you'll end up wallowing in self-pity and regret. Just move on and forget it. It's hard to just move on from it. I'll be taking my leave now. So early? Are you sure you don't want to stay a while longer? You haven't even finished your meal yet. I have to catch up on work. But the workday has already ended. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> he tells us to forget it and move on, but he's the one who's stuck in the past more than anyone else. It's my fault for rambling so much. Hey, I know you wanted to bring us closer, like old times, and I appreciate it. I just wanted to spend time with you two again. But it's never going to be the same as it used to. It was nice to hang out again after so long. I know Keisuke feels the same, even though he'll never say it out loud. He cares deep down, but the wounds left behind by Ryuse and Yukie's passing are still fresh in his mind. Although it's been six years, Keisuke is still grieving. He needs some more time to heal, so let's be patient and support him. He's slowly getting out of his shell again, just like he did back then. I'm sure Keisuke enjoyed coming here with us today. Yeah, all right. Back then... I can't imagine. If you ask me. That's not fair. So the thing is... Seriously?
I'm relieved. was a nice dinner. Well, Hirotaka, it's time for you to pay the bill. I want to see you go broke. You sound way too happy about that. Excuse me, could we get the check, please? The bill? It's already been paid. Huh? Yes, the person wearing glasses paid it off on their way out. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> we should have expected this. <laughs> Classic Keisuke. Always acting like he doesn't care, and then pulling this stuff behind our backs. She used to do this back in the old days, too. Maybe, just maybe, this means... 